After training twice a day since the start of camp, Saturday brought a drop in the quantity of training, but not the intensity, as Canada's men's national team took part in an intra-squad match that saw three periods of 25 minutes. What little experience there is in this squad was largely on the side of the red team, while most of the younger players were in yellow. Not long ago, Adam Straith was the youngster on the team, but now finds himself thrust into a veteran mentorship position. The Victoria BC native has enjoyed his new role as a veteran in this squad. Yeah, it's definitely a, a role I haven't been uh, very accustomed to, uh, especially here. I've been normally the youngest the last couple of years, but uh, you know, it's really exciting with the seeing a lot of the young boys. Have, you know, I've heard about a lot of them, and now to see them, you know, uh, playing on the field, it's it's pretty exciting. And the way that they play, and the way that they conduct themselves, it's uh, it's good to see. You know how, how how young boys are coming up. Um, I was fortunate enough to be, you know, one of the one of the only youngest guys around when I was younger, so I could you know soak it up from from guys like Stolly and, and Kev and and all the older boys. So um, no, just like I say, try to try to take all the information you can get and soak it up. While the World Cup is the ultimate goal for any international team, for much of this group, attempting to qualify for the 2016 Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, will come up first on the calendar. There's no denying the talent in this group as the youngsters moved the ball around well in what was a very up-tempo game on Saturday. But perhaps more importantly is that they're getting experience together under Benito Floro, who will also be the head coach of the Olympic team by the time 2016 rolls around. 18-year-old Jeremy Gagnon Lapare has caught the eye this week and feels there's enough talent in Canada to get them back to the Olympics for the first time since the 1984 Los Angeles Games. There is a, a lot of potential. A um, couple of guys uh, already playing in, uh, in MLS uh, in this group, so uh, I think uh, we got a real good shot and we just got to believe in it. The, the chemistry been good too. Um, with everyone, it's, it's more, uh, it's more a, a real group because we're much more the same age, so... Uh, and still with uh, a couple of uh, older guys that can uh, show the example and uh, like uh, that we still got to respect, but it's, uh, it's a good environment. Sunday will be mostly a recovery day for the team as they get set up for their final two days in camp. Monday will be another training session and Tuesday we'll see a friendly against the Fort Lauderdale Strikers of the North American Soccer League. I'm Gavin Day and this is Canada Soccer TV.